global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. Quite a lot is happening both in River State and Abuja simultaneously. But let us find out really what is going on in River State as of course um, the, the, the panel uh, constituted by Fubara have decided to make moves. But this time around something unique is happening. They are each actually inviting both the pro Wike group and Wike himself to come and testify. Wow. In the moment we're going to find out how it's going down, how the judicial panel is going about this. And then, of course, uh, there's another move, of course, uh, by the CGN and, of course, the Judicial Commission to do the needful over the crisis between BK Fubara and the judges involved. Before we go into the newspaper, kindly subscribe to our channel. Now, according to the news, the River State Judicial Panel of Inquiry has summoned the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, yes, on Wiki, and 105 others over the violence that trailed the October 5 local government election in the state. Now, the chairman of the panel, Justice I.R. Menakiri, announced this in a statement some few hours ago in Port Harcourt. Now, Governor Similarly Fubara constituted the panel as at October 7th, 2024, after suspected Ansonists set fire to the Eleme Equally Local Government Secretariat in the state. Now, also someone there, someone also where the lawmakers representing Eleme constituency and the State House of Assembly, that's Afoji Igwe, former chairman of Equally Local Government Area, Dr. Samuel Wano CK, and his counterpart in Eleme and Ohada East Local Government Area, that's Obari Lomete Ola and Hope Ikiriko. Now, the four men are the minister's loyalists. Now, the trio of Wano Sike, Ola, and Ikiriko were appointed local government chairman during Wiki's time as governor of River State. Now, all the invited persons are expected to appear before the panel between October 30th and, and November 11th. Now the statement read, and I quote word for word, pursuant to the call and receipt of memoranda by the Judicial Commission of Inquiry into Assen, bringing down of persons and wanton destruction of property and local government council headquarters in River State, the following persons are hereby summoned to appear as shared below. You are to appear before the River State Judicial Commission of Inquiry appointed by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Sir Similarly for Barra, um, over inquiry into the arson killings and wanton destruction of properties at some local government council headquarters, which occurred on or about Monday, 7th of October, 2024, sitting at River State Judicial Commission. Honorable Justice I. R. Minikiri's Court, Block C, Court 14, River State High Court Complex, Porter Court, as at 9 a.m., 9 o'clock in the morning, that to give evidence and or tender document in respect of the inquiry. Therefore, do not fail as it may be at your peril. You are requested to bring with you any evidence to establish your case. A lot of Nigerians are wondering, well, well, he has made his own, but a lot of Nigerians are wondering, will Wiki and his men, especially one or CK, come for this inquiry? Well, we're going to find out in a moment, but let's also look at what is happening in Abuja. Now, Judge Justice John Toho, the chief judge, the chief judge of the Federal High Court, is set to appear of, uh, before a national uh, to probe panel on October 29 in response to petition concerning judicial decisions related to the political crisis in River State. These, these petitions submitted by lawyers and litigants focus on handling of certain cases from rivers that have been assigned to the Abuja Division instead of the Port Harcourt Division. Now, that's all of this is because John Toho has been summoned on, of course. Now, prominent lawyer Femi Falana raised questions about this practice, expressing his concern in a letter to Justice Soho. Falana argued that holding hearings in Abuja could increase the potential for undue influence on the cases, especially given that five judges are available in Port Harcourt Division to oversee these matters. The issue intensified when Justice Joyce. Abdul Malik, based in, in Abuja, rejected the request for her recusal, emphasizing that the assignment of cases falls solely under the chief judge jurisdiction. 
Now, the NGC, NJC's investigation follows a pattern of recent changes where tribunals for governorship election petitions in Bayasa, Kano, um, Bayasa, Kogi, Imo, and River State were held in Abuja, reportedly due to security concerns arising from political tensions. This approach has brought about concerns over impartiality and regional autonomy in case handling. Adding another layer to the investigation, the judge, the chief judge of the River State High Court will also appear before the NJC panel next week to address a series of conflicting orders issued by judges within the state. This NJC probe aims to assess the judicial's, judiciary's handling of politically sensitive cases in River State and ensure that judicial processes remain transparent and free from undue external influence. Mark that the, the panel that has been inaugurated by Fobara to look at the action that took place in River State, where they are inviting the Proviki group, the likes of Wano Sike, and three former local government chairmen under the time and reign of Wiki. And of course, Wiki, what's your take on their invitation? And if they would even venture to even honor it? Well, it's not something to debate about. We all know that these are men who, during even their period, they have little or no respect for the sitting governor. We've heard early days of Fubara as the governor when this whole issue started. We heard one CK calling him Mumu governor. You know, we have heard different things coming from them. They, they personally don't even respect him. Talk less of respecting a judicial commission for stripping them of what they believe is theirs. Don't forget that up till today, they have not yet given up on the fact that the House of Assembly extended their stay in office for the next six months, even when it was very clear that what was ever, whatever that was done was against you know, the uh, Supreme Court judgment. But they still are emphatic about it. So if if they cannot respect a lot of things and also they believe that even the governor does not respect the rule of law, is it judicial commission that they will respect? I'm so sure that they will not hearken to it, they will not respect it, and they will give their reasons. That Let him, first of all, respect what uh, one of Motosha said some few months ago, and then they will talk about the House of Assembly, all about the judgments that they have given in favor of the House of Assembly, has he respected it and all of that. So for them, this extension of this to them, it's just a joke because they will not come. But however, it's good enough for all of the, the, those kind of uh, issues to be kept aside and possibly filed so that in future days it can come useful. But then they said if you are not coming, it will be to your peril. Yeah. I don't know what uh, is under the sleeve of the government you know, against these people. But let's just watch and see if possibly there will be a change of mind. One last question. What's your take on how uh, the NJC is going to handle this issue of uh, judges, uh, con uh, conflicting judges, judgment varies between River State ju uh, judge, uh, justices and uh, Federal, uh, federal uh, Council of ju Justices? No, no. On this issue, I, I think that if you look at the Constitution, each of the courts have been given their jurisdiction, you know, and anything that has to do with taking a case to the federal high court that thing has to do with the federal government and also with its agency but there are exceptions to this particular case and that's why merely they brought in falana into this case he knows very well that the issue of jurisdiction must be raised earlier enough so that uh, it will not become an issue according to the constitution it is believed that before you kickstart any issue the first thing first is they must decide at the earliest stage of the proceeding the issue of uh, jurisdiction and in order to save the precious time of the court and before the merit of the case are considered and determined. But unfortunately, that issue has been played down upon severally, despite the fact that there are provable evidence that that particular case it's meant for the state. Now, I, when I, I went through our constitution, I realized that it, it is not a must that you must take cases to the federal high court, even when, it ha even when it has to do with the federal government or its agencies. There are other things that must be considered. For example, imagine the issue on ground. The plaintiff is a resident in River State. All the four defendants are resident in River State. The only one that is different is the Central Bank, which is an agency of the government. 
And on the basis of that, any rational person can decide what to do, that the jurisdiction of this case is in River State. That's the geographical area where, you know, this whole eating is happening. And let me say 90% of the people involved are from River State. So why are you shifting base, you know, to uh, Abuja? That issue must be trashed as much as possible because it makes no sense if every little case that has to do with a particular state is trashed at the federal level. It, makes, it is spelled out in the constitution. Some people will come, when, when I talk like that, they, there's some, some of our respondents that will come and they begin to blast, say, you don't know anything. Come on, we are experienced. I'm not trying to be one-sided. We are talking about objectivity. Because someday, some of the people who are defending this whole thing, it will happen to them. It will be their own turn. You understand? Imagine you're having a case where two people who are residing in a particular state, they decide to move the case far away. It's, it's an issue of jurisdiction. It makes no sense, you know. So right now, I am hopeful that at the end of the day, um, the uh, judicial National Judicial Council will settle the issue of jurisdiction and they will reverse most of this case back to its base so that Nigeria, the beauty and the integrity of uh, judiciary will be sustained. It's not all about today. It's about the future. If you mess it up to a point whereby you walk away with your pockets fully filled, how about the future? A time will come that some people will give up on being involved in the issue of judiciary because the beauty of judiciary is the respect the people give to them. Anytime court cases are being brought forward, you realize that there's so much respect for it. Court, court, court cases or let me say court order or court judgment, people respect it. Let's not get to a point where by, uh, when a, 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 one person would trivialize it and you know make it his own court. After a while, people will start saying, this is the court of this person. That's not how it should be. The imp- independence of judiciary is what people value. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our commercial show. So take care.